That was fun. I can't wait to go down. My name's David, and with this project to summit a thousand mountains, I hope to challenge myself mentally and physically, and hopefully inspire you along the way. Today's objective was picked out by my friend Dean for what he wanted to do on his birthday. First, we'd go up Mount Howe, with a sub-peak of Mount 1479, then head over to Mount Joan. This would be a long and grueling day in the snow and in the hot sun. Good morning out here at uh, Qualicum. Starting our day off, we've got a big day. We're gonna go do a double bagger here for uh, Dean's birthday. Oh, there we go. Ready to go? Here. This is what takes you up and gets well, you on those rock We'll make some nice new, uh, nice new trails now, nice new hikes. Oh, that'll be easy cruising, but like you're lots right of equipment here. So this road is definitely in much better condition. We're heading into the snow now and go across this river. Another uh, daring river crossing here. <laughs> ATV guys have been kind to bring out these pallets. Butt bogging is encouraged. Butt bogging is encouraged. We basically hit snow here at 920. Is that right, Dean? 920 meters? Yeah. He just checked. And we're not post hoeing. River crossing number three, also with a pallet. So Dean found a little lookout we just to take some bushwhacking in there. There's no vines on the way through here. Yeah. Oh, got my face. It wouldn't be a good day without the bushwhacking here. I'm stuck. There we go. I'm stuck. It looks like it's got you stumped. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey guys. So we've got uh, what, what's been dubbed Mount Dean over there. That mountain doesn't have a name, but there's actually a, a road that goes right almost to it there. So we might go there today, who knows? We'll get a picture of the three of us. Because we might not get another view today.
So that was pretty uh, steep and fun. So we just came across to that, which is a little slippery and exhausting. Cutting holes, footsteps all the way through. You can see Dean back there. Nice little slushy, steep, but good boot packed in there. Dean's putting his, uh, he's going with the crampons. He's had enough to slip and slide. Straight ahead, we can see the uh, steep hill ahead of us. Very steep, but the snow is in good condition today. Up, -ish. up, up, and up. Lucky, right? Dang. The steepest part, a uh, little bit of a nail biter, honestly. How do you find this, Dean? That was fun. I can't wait to go down. <laughs> it is really fun to go down. <laughs> That's gonna be a quick descent. So I'm gonna head over this way. Rob went up the other way, but this way's a little bit more shallow. Not as bad as last time. Nice, but I like having to get like an axe, like the spikes. I'm always afraid to have things flying around me. What's gonna stop you? My feet, my feet. Oh, there's Marco! So here's our secondary major objective. Ooh, getting down this. So Rob's cranking it out with ease. And as you see, we gotta go up this steep slope over here afterwards. Oh, so slushy, oh geez. They get safer up on the left. Because then you can at least get up uh, right around those trees. Slushy. It's the steepest part here. Where'd Dean go? Dean, where are you at? Marco Polo. We follow our tracks up. We got tracks here. Oh, he's over there. Don't go any lower. 
don't. <laughs> I don't trust that rock. I wouldn't go past that. Yeah, I can see there's rock down here too. Yeah, but uh, actually, you can slide down that. I have slide down that. Okay, well I don't want to run. I'm just kidding. Yeah, hold on, I'm gonna be right here, you guys. <laughs> But it is there's actually there's just a, there's a big slide chute right through there. Yeah, but you don't got much for it. There's big uh, cracks and probably cornices here. There's a huge crack here. Not getting any closer than that. While this is Dean's first time, I've been up here before, but I failed to summit this sub-peak, Mount 1479, by a mere 50 feet. So today I get to cross this one off my list. It was an awesome hike. Beautiful. Yeah. Dean, how'd you find it? Live up to your expectations? Oh uh, yeah, heck yeah. That was awesome, guys. Awesome day for this. So I'm just out uh, by myself here, just catching up to the boys. I had to send off some Mother's Day uh, greetings there and gonna meet up at the uh, little lake that's over here. This is a fun little spot. You slip uh, the cliff right there. <laughs> you go for a dip? Ah, uh, I couldn't find the edge. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty inviting though. Spicy wall number one. I guess this was number two. Slip and slide down a vertical wall be fun. <laughs> I don't know man, it gets pretty steep over that edge. Looks like you're just dropping off to the abyss right now. <laughs> Doesn't feel like I am. There we go. Oh, it's very steep. Oh, I'm not gonna resuit really up. Oh, maybe I'll grab it. I also don't know how to use it, so I might just injure myself. You just walk down. I got a nice little path here you can follow. Yeah. 
Got a nice trough there for you, at least. So now I'm going to cross over so I don't smash this tree. Warm. So we've got a mysterious steamer here. Let us know in the comments down below what that is. Little pellets. That's a marmot, cougar, bear, human. There we go. This is the avalanche chute. All right, let's do a speed run here. <laughs> oh my God, this is fun. <laughs> oh, shit. It's, it's getting really soft. It's getting really soft. Oh, whoo. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to come down. So we got a nice steamy soft serve here. Let us know in the comments what you think that is. It's like, kind of looks like that other one. Maybe it's marmot crab? With the 30 degrees Celsius sun beating down on us, we decided to cut the day short as surprisingly there was no running water for most of the hike till we reached this creek. All three of us were showing early signs of sunstroke, so it was time to call it a day. If you want to follow along with my quest to summit a thousand mountains, I have an interactive map, which is linked in the description down below. Summits and peaks are yellow, the light green are hikes, light blue are hikes with water sources such as waterfalls and lakes, and dark blue are water adventures. Overall, we had a great day for Dean's birthday. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A big thanks to all my Patreon supporters. If you want to support my efforts, I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash davidhiking. I'll see you on the next episode.